Hey guys, Mr. Ballion here. If you can see my screen, I'm just going to quickly uh, show you how I did my shingles here on this screen. There's two types. I may just go with this with this approach right here. Okay, so yeah, I think, let's see, I can make a, like, I have a couple options here, right? I can come in here, uh, let's just go zoom in a bit. I can come in here and just basically do something like this, come in, I can eventually paint over my work, right? I can come in and do that. And I think what we'll do is we'll use the short shingles. We'll leave some gaps in between. And then I'll just cross over here. And then eventually I'll come in and I'll resize these. And then I'll also um, basically rotate them a touch as well, okay? And as I demo to you guys in class, when you are painting these, remember there's three sides, right? And each side should have a different base color just so that it pops and then you can use whatever you want, right? So I can come in here and do like little cracks and whatever, but I would color later. We talked about this, I apologize, I'm going over the same stuff. So what I wanna do, I wanna use this system here. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got here. Let's go into Blender and uh, see what I can come up with, okay? This is what I have so far, okay? And these are all the different demos I've done in class. So what I'll do is I'll show you what I did. Um, Look, there's so many ways. I can take a surface here, the, the, the ones with my senior students. I can come in here and just go tab. Um, let's go to face, which is number three, two, one, remember. Uh, face is three. I can come in here and grab a face like this, for example, right? And, and then just, just, just intuitively think for yourself, what is it that we can do with this face? As we know in Maya, we would separate things and we could extrude and so forth. So there's no really a difference in any, di any other application. So I'm using that logic and let me see, right click. There's also an extrude face. Is there a separate? Yes, there is, see? So I can go separate selection. Okay, there it is. Now it's its own, right? It should be its own right there. So if I go to, uh, let's get out of this. Let's go tab and then AA to get out. Um, I'm just gonna select this guy here, see? It has now it has nothing to do with what we are working on. Okay, so let's pretend this is how you're going to do it, or you can simply grab a box, make a box, and then scale it, push it, and so forth. Okay, so that's what I did for mine. So now that I have a face, for example, I can come in here and go into tab mode, uh, which is our favorite edit mode, and then there's this extrude dude here. So I'm in face already. If I press E, it's the same thing. And then look, I'm just punching it out, right? So there it is. I have that, for example, right? Now this is massive. This is another style where I can use long, long planes to become uh, shingles, but I'm not going to use this style. However, n have no fear. What we do is we use our, um, our views and ultimately our orthographic views to make these shingles and resize them. Okay, so look, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in uh, polygons, faces. I'm just gonna go to verts, vertices, and then I'm just gonna look. I'm, I'm rotating here. Let's see what X does. Ooh, let's see here. Uh, that was X. Sorry, I'm gonna go back to X. I'm gonna hold Shift for a second, and I'm gonna go to this guy here. And uh, I gotta get rid of. It. I just, I just brought a bunch of stuff in my scene. So I got to tab out for a second and uh, go to object mode, I am, and then we're out. I'm just going to move this guy over, okay? Another thing, notice that right now, um, this is not centered, right? So if you come right click here, set origin, I like to go to mass, boom, it's centered and whatever. I'm just going to go bye bye. I could hide it too, okay? But anyhow, back to our little shingles action, okay? So look, I'm using my orthographic views to resize and whatever, right? and kind of sculpt without actually using a plate, okay? All right, so we're here, we're in tab, which gets us into edit mode, right? From object, we'll go to edit mode, I'm gonna to go to vertices, and then I wanna select all of these, and I remember that I need to be in wireframe to select the verts in the back, right? So watch what I'll do, this is really, <laughs> this is really taking your sweet time. Look at this, I'm just gonna come down here, move this over, and there's that part. I'm gonna take these guys, slide them over, and so forth, okay? So that's what I've done. So now that I brought it down, let's let's go back to perspective view and into shaded mode and then see what we got here. So there's my buddy right here, okay? All right, so 
and there's one 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 of these shingles. So what I could do is I'm in edit mode. I can get out, go to object mode, and I can type this somewhere here wherever it's hit. Uh, it's house base. No, I'll go shingle shingles uh, underscore oh one done. Okay. So the way it works, uh, if you want to apply for a, like I've said this before, contracting position, um, you, and one of the questions for contractors in the city of Toronto is that, and when you're shingling a house, do you start from the top or from the bottom? And if you say from the bottom, you got the answer right. And I know this because in the past I've worked with contractors designing places. So look at what I'm doing here. I'm coming in here. I'm going to pretend this is the, the, the surface, right? Okay, so watch this, right? So here's one that I have right now. Now I can come in here and click on scale and I can resize it, right, like this. I can go into vertex mode, which I'll be over here. I'll go into object, edit mode, and I'll hit uh, vertex and I can, uh, I'm gonna go to wireframe for a second. I'm sorry, guys, let me just, I, I, have, I, wish, I should have done this on the other side, right? Uh, all right, all right, okay. So I'm just gonna even color this maybe so we can see what we're doing, okay? Tab, get out, here it is, okay. So I'll come over here right now. I'm just gonna hit new and say you are shingles 001 whatever okay so let's change it. let's give this a color and go something like this okay and maybe more somewhere here okay so now we're not seeing anything are we so if we go into shaded mode there it is right right there nice okay there it is okay for move okay so all of you know to duplicate the letter is D Okay, why don't I just bring this up high and do it somewhere here, okay? So we're just going to go like this. So I'll explain how this works, okay? So what you do is you duplicate the row, column row, yep, and then you tilt it, okay? So watch what I'll do here. So watch, first I'll go in here and I'll say I'm going to be outside the edge here. Shift D this way, and I'm going to say X right now because I see the red bar down there, and I'll just go this way, okay? There. Now, if I if I pressed, uh, what is it, uh, shift R is it? Yeah, shift R repeats, okay, there. Okay, so now th these are all the same size, okay? This is not uh, suburbia, this is not downtown Toronto. Um, I'm gonna, I, I personally, I'm gonna press X here, delete. I like to resize these, okay? So let's do a couple things first. First, let's, let's rotate. I'm gonna shift select these pieces here. I am going to spin around and I'm going to show you, like right now, watch. Um, I'm going to rotate and I'm looking over here. Look, the X is almost facing me. So if I press X, look how nice that is, right? So now, I, normally most people would do this, right? So what you want to do is rotate it. So if I click on rotate here and you see the X there, like they're all rotating. So just nudge it a bit, okay? And then go to move and then bring that across, see? That's the point. It, it, that's how it's done and it's nailed in and so forth. Okay, so we've done this. Now we can spin around. We were using the middle scroll button. That part is accurate, right? So what I'll do now is I'll go into my crazy mode, which is fun mode. Oh, I knew I should have stopped that. Okay, so look. Um, I've, got, I've got this one, right? So I want to resize this, right? Okay, so I know what to resize. I need a couple things. I need to be in tab mode. And I also need to be in wireframe, okay? So what you can do is like you can select any of these or you can select the one down here and then just press move. Look, you can come in here and just bring this one down, this one over, like that should have been a cut across. Uh, you're not ready for that yet, so we won't. Okay, so you see, don't worry about the tops, okay? So even if I go back to tab here, I can slip this down a bit, cool. I can come in this one now. Now select this one, I can press R for rotate and rotate a touch, see? And take that one. Okay, so let's go into wire uh, shaded mode. It's enough, right? So you see, I like this. To me, this is interesting, right? So we can come over here, we can press R for rotate, I can rotate it a touch and so forth, okay? So I should really do a cut in here and every time I do it sometimes, let's see, can I, is it gonna work for me? Let's see if I can pull this off, knife. I need to go from here to there, and I'm going to press enter. Let's see if it works. Uh, go from here, click to there. Oops, I don't think I picked it. Anyway, and now I'm going to go AA to get out, select. Now, if these two verts aren't connected, so what I'll do is I'll just come in here, and I'm just going to go into tab mode. And, oh, tab 
tab again and vertex. I'll take these two guys here and what I want to do is weld them. So let's see, vertex, is there a weld? Blend from shape, side, rip, vertices. No, 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 no rip, please. Let's go right click. Uh, separate, dissolve. I think there's one that goes like a shrink. Where is it? Goes into the middle. Merge vertices. Yeah, center. <laughs> yes. Okay, there it is. <laughs> See, right click. There's so many menus. It's unbelievable. Like you go over here for vertex, it's a different menu. If you come over here, there's additional more information. Okay, so this is cool. And here's what I'm saying, right? So I'm in here. I'm going to select these two now and uh, move. I was going to say W like in Maya. No. And I just kind of make, make it irregular, right? So you can go, flare it out, flare it out, okay? And this is way off on this side. I wouldn't worry about it because right now I'm only working here, okay? So there we are. We've got our shingles, okay? So what I'll do now is I'll select these guys again. I have to be in tab mode. So if I go shift, left click, shift, left click, shift, left click, right? And we'll duplicate, shift D. Okay, up we go, and over. Okay, like that. Um, you know what, that's fine. And now you know the deal here, right? So let's go, let's make this or, uh, more orthographic looking, right? Let's slide these guys up more and then bring them over. And oh, before I do that, I should stagger it out, right? So it's gotta be like something like this. Woo -hoo. Yeah, something like this. And then now I'll rotate by holding middle scroll. And I'm going to press R for rotate, and I'm just going to rotate these guys. So this is not looking good. So what I'll do is I'll use this rotate with the gizmo, much easier. See, so we'll just do something like that, and then I'll go to move, and here you are, like that. Okay. So I don't want this to be a long, a long tutorial, but now what I can do is come in here, one at a time, uh, press tab, go to verts, and then I'll take these guys up. I'll bring them in. So like you know what I mean, guys. Like take the time, okay. And, and do things like having space in between is fine. Make it irregular. Have fun with this. And if, you type, if you're the type, you say, hey, Mr. Bound, you're way off on this one. No problem. Tab out. Come in here and bring these ones in. See? So now look at that shadow because that's, that's my ambient occlusion on. I'll press rotate and bingo and then move. Perfect. This comes in here. Then I'll take these guys over and I'll bring that. That's not bad, right? See? That's looking cool. That one we don't care about, so we'll say if I can just ping it, there it is, delete, uh, press X, delete. Okay, so this is what we have. All right, guys, I think you get what I mean. Okay, you can resize it, like I said, go here and sculpt away, like make them irregular, don't make them all even, okay? Especially my grade 12s. You guys have time on your hands and then make it interesting. So for example, if I press S for scale, I'm not going to go this way because I think this is difficult for you guys. So I'll say Command Z or Control Z. Just come in here, use the scale tool, and use these handles. See, I'll click on this one here. I'll make that one like this, whatever. So I can, I can, you know, resize them and so forth. Use these ones. It's much easier. These tools here, right? So I can come in here and uh, punch this over, and then you know what? I'm going to swap these guys. I'm going to bring this one over and so forth. See, and then we'll take this one as the outside edge and then we'll flare it out and rotate it and so forth, okay? I hope this made sense. This, I think I'm gonna take an extra minute here just so that I can explain a few more things, okay? Um, look, I can come in here. Remember how I said I, I can shift, rotate? There's also other areas that we can do, right? So watch, I'm gonna get out of object mode, go to edit mode right here, right? So if I go to edge, which is number two, click here, right? I can now, now spin around a bit and just make these thicker, wider, and so forth, see? Like there's so many things we can do. We can expose this part. Look how cool that is. So irregular, right? Tab to get out, go to the next one. Take this one, for example, right? So we'll go, uh, are we in tab mode, object mode? Nope, we're gonna go into edit mode and then I'll go to number two, which I am. So I'll select, uh, which one am I on? Am I on this one here, right? So I'll do the same thing, bring this out, like spin around. Make sure you see your tripod there, X, Y, and Z. So just see what I'm doing. I'm going out, having fun, right? So just, just go in there and make them irregular. That's what I wanted to say. And I forgot, so I'm adding this as a recording here for you guys. Okay, so you tab out of it, go select another one, and uh, let's come over here for a second, see? And press tab, get into edit mode. Two is already selected, so it'll know my and my <laughs> blender will know. Here we go, boom. 
and I'll take this one and I'll bring it over like this, right? And if I want to go into vertex mode, look, I can come in here. Let's see, I only got this one. I'm gonna try to we and I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, cool. There. See? And I'll spin around a bit and I'll bring this out and over. See? So you can do some cool stuff like this, all right? So there's many levels of intricacies. That's why I don't want people to just do things for the sake of doing, okay? I want you to take the time, get, have ownership, and say, how could mine be different than my classmate? Why do I want to make it different? I want to make it interesting. What references have you looked at to inspire you? I don't expect you to stare at this screen and figure things out, okay? So I'll leave it at that. I'm going to say thank you, Ballion out, and this will be added to the other one. Two minutes. Thank you. Bye-bye.